Before reading a book to my daughter, I usually try to learn a couple words. And so today I learned pony, which is just pony, which is great. Being an English speaker, speaker is fun. Then there's map, which is mapa. Again, maybe it can, comes from English and it does. So it's just mapa. Me gorgeous, that's me for or me for What one would Pinkie Pie say, or Sweetie Belle, or Rarity? She would say me for I think, because she's probably referring to some girl, right? There we have the word eyes, anaim. Eyes, anaim. Aim is one eye, but usually you would probably say anaim, eyes. The word is pestle. What happened to the pestle? What's a pestle? A statue. What happened to the pestle in the, in the book? About There's something about, yeah, something about Princess Luna and a pestle. And a statue? Yeah. We already just mentioned that she was going to put a statue a, of Princess a, Luna. A pestle. A pestle of Princess Luna. Huh. Got to use the word. I need to practice a lot because every time I use a word, I get better at it. What is eyes in Hebrew? Anaim. Mm -hmm. How about statue? Pestle. Whoa. How about gorgeous? In for the feminine form. Mefo erit. Mefo erit. I am killing this. How about how about gorgeous or glorious for a guy? Mm. It's not Mayfo Wear it. It's Mayfo Mayfo War. Alright, Margaret, one more. What is pony in Hebrew? It's for the it's for the it's for the cake here here. You can get it, you win it. Pony! Oh man! <laughs> I I killed this one. <laughs> Pony. Yeah. That one was pretty easy. Okay, I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more. Map. We just learned that. We just learned it, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a clue. It starts with map. Mappa Hebrew? Mappa! Mm. Mappa! <laughs> well, I think I won that one.